don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I was paying attention. Do I just say something? Hey y'all, it's Sam Gorman. Welcome to the NL Students uh, Devotionals. I want to thank y'all for joining us, and I pray that uh, we can be strong in the Word and um, encourage us through God's Word. Let's worship.
Hey, what's going on, New Liberty Students Ministry family? Um, it is, I guess I'm recording this on Monday. It's going to go out on Thursday. I hope you guys enjoyed the devotional last week. I hope that you liked, commented, subscribed, shared with your friends on social media, uh, shared the post, got the word out. I, I love. I mean, man, I just don't know what to say. There's just so many emotions going on. I hate not being able to see you. I think even people that are introverts are like, man, I wish I could see some people <laughs> right now. Um, about 10 years ago, I got to go on a trip to Hawaii with Graham Cole and Andrew Mason. It's kind of our, like, like our, our senior trip gift from our parents. Uh, and with Graham's brother living there, you know, it helps save on some costs. But one day, uh, Garrett Cole, his father-in-law said, well, I'll take you guys out and we can go surfing. I was like, okay, that sounds cool. Never gone surfing before. It always looks neat when you see people walking on the side of the beach with their board, you know. That is not the case. That did not happen with me. Uh, I used a beginner board that's about twice my size. I wasn't, my arms weren't even long enough to get around the board. <laughs> and I'm having to haul it down the beach. It was horrible. But I remember this day because I was surfing, trying to surf, trying to get up. And I kept falling. And every time that I would fall, I'd get, I, would get, I would fall into the water. I, my body would just be tossed around in the undercurrent. And I didn't know which way was up. Which way <laughs> can I get some air? And, and I remember one time I came up and, you know, the board is attached to your ankle with a little um, cord. And the, and the surfboard nailed me in the back of the head. And I was like, man, like, it, it was just not, it started to not get fun after about five minutes, right? And then sometimes, guys, honestly, I just, I mean, I feel like that's life. I feel like that's life for me right now. As a, as a pastor, as a leader of my family, and as someone who makes his, you know, his career off of planning events and trying to meet with people, um, I'm not really able to do that. And there are many of you who aren't able, aren't able, aren't even able to do much of your job either as well. And so it's frustrating. And we're confused and angry and irritable. And then you're kind of like, you know, which way is up? And then you get out of the water and the surfboard hits you in the back of the head and you're just so confused and you don't know where to go. What we're experiencing is a new normal for right now. And I don't know how long this can go on, but I hope we can continue to encourage each other online. I recently came across a book on rest and it gave me a couple of ideas of things to do like if you were to take a personal retreat to go off by yourself and study the Word of God and hear from what God wants to teach you and I just cannot help but go back to thinking what does God want to teach us through this time and it could be different things for everybody what is God teaching you through this time and so I got some ideas on this, how to take a personal retreat. I'll read some of them to you in a minute. And maybe it's a good idea for you guys to do in your homes or whatever. But for me, it talked about picking a passage of scripture, studying it, reading it all day, every day. For me, I pick Psalm 23, and I'm basically going to read one chap, one, one verse a day. And I have a couple commentaries, and I'm going to go through those commentaries on each individual verse and journal and write down um, kind of what it means 
Uh, it's really dark, really light. I mean, what it means to me. So today I wrote down, I, I studied Psalm 23, verse 1. So the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And that hit me with Christ is my leader, God is my leader. Though, I, though men, you may look around and you may see families or your kids. These are the people that I'm leading. Or maybe you have a position at work where there are people underneath you and they're looking to you for answers. That Christ is my shepherd. He's my, not just the good shepherd, as the word says, or the great shepherd, as the word says, but the word also says that he is the chief shepherd and the good shepherd. And so God is our leader. He's a good leader and a perfect leader. And so I run to that. And also when he is, because he is our good chief leader, all of our needs are met. Every single one of our needs are met. I want you to think about that today. Think about that this week, that all of our needs are met. And when we read that, each one of us is going to read it in a different way because through the lens of our life and our circumstances. But it's nonetheless, it's true that all of our needs are met. Other parts in Hebrews says that, that uh, Christ is the same now and forever. And though we live in these times, guys, where it changes every single week, we serve a God that never changes. There's a couple of uh, examples in this book that I love. It says how to take a personal retreat. So if you need tips or things that you can do, it says you need a Bible, a paper, pad of paper, and a pen. You can read through a psalm, read through a specific book, read it out loud, start to finish, one sitting. Go on prayer walks. Pray and journal through these pain points in your life. Write out what is going on in your life and what Christ is doing. What do you think God is teaching you during this time? Set a timer and sit in silence and pray about whatever comes to mind. Sing songs of worship. There's a lot of songs that are out there, guys, that you can listen to. Memorize verses of Scripture. Say them and recite them every day. Ask God for a vision for this next season of your life. What's going to happen when we get outside of this? When we, this is all behind us? Rehearse the gospel story to yourself. These are just a few things that you guys can choose from to do. I pray that I can also act as a resource giver to you, that your church can be a resource giver to you. If you need anything, we're here, we love you. What is God teaching you during this season? What are some of your spiritual disciplines that you're practicing? What are some things that you're doing with your, with your parents, kids, or, 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 or parents? What are you doing with your students? What are you doing with your kids? What are you doing with your family? Let's share those things. This is a great time to be innovative, right? It says that invention is the mother of necessity, or necessity is the mother of invention, right? So how are we being innovative in this time? How are we encouraging one another all the more as the day is drawn near? The day draws near, rather, sorry. Guys, I love you. Thankful for you. May the love of Christ control you. I'll see you next week. See you.